I know it's early, but wh what are your impressions of Miami, and uh, what do you think you guys are going to have to do to to be able to win down there? Yeah, they're they're obviously they're very athletic, a, a team that uh, you know has got a new sense of energy. They're you know, they played well, played hard against uh, against Duke, and very fortunate to come out on the winning end. Um, but it all, always reminds me of a Miami team that's just in, in the skill positions, you know, always very, very athletic, fast, and you know, skilled linebackers, wide receivers, DBs, and yeah, again, I would assume that Kaya is going to play. I mean, he's he's a very good player. He's done done a nice job in terms of protecting the football, and kind of runs things for them. So uh, it's a good football team, and I know they're forging an identity and reestablishing the things that they want to try to get. Uh, the, the Miami, you know, name or brand back where where it is, where it used to be, and so um, we'll we'll definitely have a challenge for us going down there playing them. Do you know the new Miami coach, and uh, did you see anything on film that indicates they're going to do things differently? Uh, well, just professionally, I, I don't I don't know, Coach, um, from a, a personal standpoint, you know. Some of the things they're doing are very similar to what they've been doing. It's not they they went in and reinvented, you know, an offense or defensive scheme. So you know, there's more emphasis, you know, after one game, whether you can tell whether there's more emphasis on one thing or the other, but they are still doing, you know, the elements of what they started out doing. I'm quite sure that they've maybe limited the packages or whatever it might be, but but you know, still having very skillful players execute their plan. Player said that you uh, showed the last play to everybody yesterday. I guess um, was there is there a lesson to be learned in in, in that, and, and what was kind of your message with it? What did Miami do? No, the, well, I mean the message is, you know, you, you play till to the very end, and this will be two games in a row that we've played a team that won on the last play. Um, you know, Georgia Tech at Florida State that game, and then and then this one. So. Obviously, it's you know it's never over till it's over, and those two games, you know, heighten your awareness about what you have to do and until until the whistle blows. And I wanted them to see that you know I don't know how many handoffs or pitches or how many people different people touch the ball, but that play seemed to go forever, and um, you know they outlasted and they executed and they end up end up winning the game. So I just wanted to show them that, again it's not over till it's over. Do you have any good uh, Coach Beamer stories through the years? I know that you kind of gave a statement yesterday, but anything that, that sticks out about him and what does it mean to you that him, him leaving the game? Now, as I said in this statement, I, I have a, a, a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Beamer and, and what he's done over the years. And my, my years here in the ACC, the head coaches' meetings in Amelia Island and the different places, you know, our wives have met. We've talked about family, you know, all the things that, you know, not just coaches would talk about, just men, fathers, husbands. And um, I know we did a, uh, a state police commercial together. Uh, it took all day to film, but, um, you know, we had lunch and, and all those things. But, uh, again, I, as I said, Coach, Coach Beamer has, has had such a tremendous influence and impact on college football. One of the, the guys is one of the, you know, one of the best that, that's ever been. And so... It's a it's a it's a pleasure and an honor knowing um, knowing a gentleman that's involved with the state of Virginia, you know, um, a guy that uh, that you know personally, and that you wish you wish him you know life after football success for him, him and his wife and his family. Coach, yes. do you feel like the turning point for this defense was that loss to Boise State? What would you think is the main difference and why things are just clicking? Was it experience or is it just something that Tanuta changed? Uh, you know, Jackie, that's a good question. I mean, obviously, you're embarrassed by a loss like that, and you, you have a group of individuals that have, have to decide whether or not your next practice, your next team meeting, your next lift session is going to, you know, put more of an emphasis on, you know, en enough is enough. And, and that was a wake-up call as far as that particular game, scoring that many points, looking lackluster in a lot of ways. Uh, but what I've, been, what I've been happy about or pleased about is, that, is the way they've responded in terms of rising to, the, to challenges. And, and you just see, again, you look at the ACC now, you see the other night, you know, UNC's playing Pitt, and 
and how those two teams are going back and forth and how we were in the games of both of those games. So it's just a, you know, we just got to stay stay the course and just remember that um, you know that that all the opportunities and goals that we have set that are still available to us. We've gotten better. We've improved. We've improved in some areas. We still have to improve in some others. But um, the ebb and flow of the football game didn't take us out of the game. And de defensively, like I said, 0 for 3, fourth downs, um, holding the, an option offense to that many yards. Uh, their, their, their running back um, was averaging nine yards per carry. And I think he had like 18 yards on seven carry. So uh, again, it's it, it was it was a great team effort, and now the next effort is is put a game plan together and get ready for Miami. So we just we go from one one extreme of an offense to the next and be prepared for that, and then moving on. And if we can do that, continue to do that, then you know, we'll, we'll be a better better football team, and our chances of winning will be better. Uh, you've personally had a lot of success against Miami. Does a lot of it go back to you and Golden having been on the same staff before and rivals, or you just got their number, or how do you explain it? I, I, you know, I don't know, Jerry. I, I, I wish, uh, hope that can, continues on, but uh, no, it's, uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things sometimes. And as I said, this, every year is, is a new team, is a new identity. There's new circumstances to, to things that happen. And, and as we all know, you know, with the new, with the, tr the coaching changes, and now there's, you know, there's another team that's 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 trying to form an identity, and it started for them against Duke, and, and now it's important for us to make sure that, you know, that we go in and we play, you know, we we play our best football because it's it's important. It's on the road, and again, as I said, it's against a very good and athletic team. You guys have faced a lot of uh, really good quarterbacks so far. You've mentioned that Brad Kaya probably plays. Uh, what do you see from him, and what's going to be key in kind of slowing him down? Well, when you look at when you look at Brad, he's he's got ten touchdowns, two interceptions. So his his efficiency rating is is is, is pretty good. He he distributes the ball. He doesn't turn it over much. I, I believe they're one of the either number one in the ACC with the least amount of turnovers, and that that's important as well. But you know, Brad is kind of a guy that's matured and, and, and grown and developed into being their you know their team leader or one of their team leaders, and um, you know he hasn't disappointed. So uh, again, I, you know we don't get the uh, the medical report until Thursday. I, I would assume that he's going to be cleared to play coming off come out of his concussion. Um, but again, his his play has been very very steady, and um, I mean he is definitely he's definitely one of the the major factors in. And the reason why they've got uh, you know the wins and the production from getting getting the ball to the receivers and the and the running backs that they have.